Hi, good day. Our topic for today is about dividing polynomials using long division method. So let's say, for example, we have 6x squared minus 7x minus 20 is divided into 2x plus 5. So in order for us to get the quotient of this given problem, we have four main steps to be followed. First is we have to divide. Second is we have to multiply. Third is to subtract. And fourth is to bring down. So but first, we have to set this problem into a long division format. So that means we have to identify the dividend and we have to also identify the divisor. So in this case, this polynomial is our dividend and x, 2x plus 5 is our divisor. So we have to transform this one into a regular format of long division. So that becomes 6x squared minus 7x minus 20 and is divided by 2x plus 5. As to what I have said, the first step that we have is to divide. So what are we going to divide? In this case, since we are dividing polynomial, we have to divide the leading coefficients or the first term of each polynomial. So that means we have to divide 6x squared or the first term of the polynomial of your dividend divided by the first term of your divisor. So we have to find for the quotient. So what rule are we going to apply in this given problem? We have to apply quotient rule for exponents. That means you have to divide the coefficients. 6 divided 2 makes 3. And how about the variable? Okay, we have to copy the variable x and subtract your exponent. 2 minus 1 makes 1. Therefore, the quotient of the first term of each polynomial is 3x. After dividing, we have to proceed on the second step, which is multiply. So what are we going to multiply? Since we have to go down, that means we multiply your quotient 3x by your divisor 2x plus 5. So that means 3x multiply it by 2x plus 5. So we multiply monomial by a binomial. That means we have to use distributive property. So distribute 3x to 2x. So that becomes 6x squared. Distribute 3x to positive 5. That becomes positive 15x. Therefore, we have to get we have to put your product below your dividend. So that becomes 6x squared plus 15x. So after multiplication, we have to proceed on the third step, which is subtraction. We have to subtract your dividend and your product. So 6x squared minus 6x squared, so that becomes 0. Next, negative 7x minus positive 15x. So that becomes negative 7x minus positive 15x. So since you are subtracting different sign, that means by the rule of subtraction of integers, you have to add its opposite. So that becomes negative 7x plus the opposite of positive 15x. So that becomes negative 15x. Therefore, the sum of it is just equal to negative 22x. 
So we have here negative 22x. And the last step is we have to bring down the remaining terms of your dividend. We have negative 20. Afterwards, since there's still a variable, we have to repeat the process. Go back to divide, then multiply, subtract, and break down. So we have to divide negative 22x divided by 2x. So negative 22x divided by 2x. Again, by the rule of quotient for exponents, we have to divide the coefficients. Negative 22 divided 2 makes negative 11. And x divided x makes 1. So therefore, the quotient that we have is negative 11. So we have here negative 11. After division, we have to multiply. Negative 11, multiply it by your divisor 2x plus 5. Again, we are multiplying binomial and a monomial. So that means we have to distribute negative 11 to each of the term. So we have negative 11 times 2x is just equal to negative 22x. Negative 11 times positive 5. So we have negative 11 times positive 5 is just equal to negative 55. So we have to put the product negative 22x minus 55. So after multiplying, we have to proceed to subtraction. So we have to subtract negative 22x minus 20 and negative 22x minus 55. So since the two terms is both negative and we have to subtract, then that means this is 0. So next is negative 20 minus negative 55. So negative 20 minus negative 55. Again, by the rule of subtraction, we have to add its opposite. So we have negative 20 plus the opposite of negative 55, which is 55, is just equal to adding a like sign. So that means we have to subtract and copy the greater sign of your number. So we have negative 20 plus 55 is just equal to positive 35. Since there's no variable anymore, then that means we cannot go back to the first step, which is division. Then, this is now the final answer. So how are you going to write the final answer of your given expression? So we have our quotient is 3x minus 11 plus your remainder 35 all over your divisor 2x plus 5. Therefore, the answer of the given problem is 3x minus 11 plus 35 over 2x plus 5. And that is all about dividing polynomials using long division method. Remember, the four main steps. We have divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down.